Saturday morning. Uh, yeah, it's zero degrees Celsius. Feels like minus six. There's a strong wind gusting to like 35, 40 kilometers an hour from the west northwest. Um, but, and we had a dusting of snow overnight, but not enough, so it shouldn't be any accumulation. So the long run this weekend, I registered for, uh, uh, it's a virtual race called the Six Bridges. It's virtual, but it's not in the sense that we're, uh, we've got six bridges crossing the, uh, the main rivers in Winnipeg. Um, well, we've got more than six, but there's six anyways. Um, that uh, we're using for this uh, this run, and uh, it's basically uh, started yesterday, April first. We got uh, six weeks to cross all these bridges. It's essentially a series of loops that you do around uh, every bridge that amounts to a certain distance. It goes from about five k to I believe the longest one is ten uh, k. And uh, this morning I'm meeting a group of uh, friends at uh, the first bridge, or the western bridge, the most, uh, the bridge that's the farthest west of the city. There we go. Um, and uh, we're going to start there and run loops around that bridge. Now, uh, these guys, I believe, want to do uh, all six bridges plus running the commute between the bridges and back. So it's going to give them between 80 and 100K today, depending on, uh, you know, which route they take to get from one bridge to the other. In my training for uh, my ultras and, and marathons and all that, I'm not at the point where I want to run 80 or 100K today. Um, I'm running long distances and this might be a little bit more than what uh, I plan on doing but we'll see once I get there how I feel but I plan on running a few bridges maybe all of them I don't know and then you know drive between one bridge to the other so I'll just park some uh, like close to the bridge run that bridge the number of loops required and then move on to the next one so we'll see it might end up being a 50k day after all is said and done or less but um uh, yeah, that's the plan for today. So I'll take you out there to different bridges. Each bridge gives you uh, a medal, and then when you assemble all the medals together or put them next to each other, it's a nice map of the city. So it should be cool. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Got to get out there. <laughs> He doesn't care those 20k, he just come to run out there for you. <laughs> Alright, bridge number one. This is Mori Bridge. 7.4 kilometers. I was done. Uh, and all these crazy people are going to run to the other. A few are going to drive, I'm going to drive. And then run out the bridge, so I'll probably end up alone for the rest of the bridges. Alright. Alright, I'm at the second bridge. Uh, this is Maryland Bridge. It uh, gets you not downtown, but close to downtown. And uh, this one I have, it's a one kilometer loop, so I have to do 10 loops for 10K on the bridge. See the river. Yeah, so 10 loops, 10K. So I broke off from the, the group I was with this morning. Uh, they're actually running all the way here. But it's probably a good, uh, I would say, eight kilometers for them to run here. So it'll take them a while, probably an hour to get here. Uh, so I don't want to get the bridges done uh, today, probably. So that's why I'm commuting in between. Anyways, it's pretty slick this morning, still cold like minus one, minus two, and uh, a lot of the puddles are frozen, black ice, so we've got to be careful, but we'll get this done. Homeless encampment. Well, I guess they, they're not in here anymore, but 
they would have spent the winter here maybe i don't know either that or just people dumping i'm garbage. done this is my last loop done here's a group hey, hey. Randy girl. Oh, <laughs> So I got two bridges done. One was four loops, uh, 7.4 kilometers. Uh, the second one was 10 loops, one kilometer per loop for 10. Okay. Now I'm going uh, to a bridge called uh, Chief Peguis Bridge. And uh, it's gonna be a two loop around the bridge for uh, just shy of seven kilometer. And that's the furthest uh, bridge north, northeast. So uh, when I come back to do the last three bridges, I'll be, uh, all three are very close downtown. And uh, the group uh, that I started running with this morning will probably be at one of those three bridges. So uh, chances are I'll get to see them and uh, maybe run a little bit with them. So just uh, making my way out there. It's uh, still pretty cold. Showing minus two, a bit of a wind on Chief Pegwis. It's going to be windy because it's across the river, wide open. But uh, otherwise, uh, everything's going fine. Legs are doing okay. Had to retie my shoes a little bit. Uh, left uh, left shoe, left foot was uh, bugging me, and I was afraid of uh, blisters. But otherwise, it's uh, it's going okay. We'll see what the, the next bridge is bring. So this is uh, Chief Peguis Trail, Chief Peguis Bridge. It's the furthest one. It's getting nice and toasty in the van driving up here. And uh, I was sweaty a bit, so I'm wet. Now I'm kind of chilly, so gotta warm up hopefully here. Not as windy as I thought, but I think the wind's coming in from the west, so when I come around the other way, I'll have a headwind. This is two laps, about three and a half K per lap, around 7K, so should be good. It's a long, long trail. Bridge number three is done. Uh, the uh, Chief Peguis Trail. Had to uh, get a little uh, creative here because uh, the way the route was set up, running on the south side of the road uh, sidewalk, they uh, didn't plow it over the winter, so uh, there's snow on top of it that wasn't uh, usable, so had to stay on the north side and switch back and forth. But uh, yeah, 7K for uh, two loops of uh, Chief Peguis Trail. So I'm gonna head back uh, to the Forks and then run the Provence Bridge, Norwood Bridge, and Osborne Bridge. Making my way to the fourth bridge. And uh, the fourth bridge I'm running is uh, called Provence Bridge, uh, Louis Riel Promenade is the pedestrian side. Then I cross, come back on the sidewalk, cross at the Museum Human Rights, and then back through. This one is a little less than a one kilometer loop. So I got to do 12 loops here for 11 and a half K, something like that. It's, uh, it's windy, the wind has picked up or I can feel it a lot more here and uh, still cold 
it'll warm up. I'm, I'm gonna warm up. But yeah, I, I was nice and toasty in the van, so. All right, this is what I gotta deal with. It's pretty icy. It's uh, very... So, gotta watch it so I don't wipe out and kill myself. And that's the Louis Riel Promenade, uh, the pedestrian bridge, and then the traffic bridge goes out there and there's a sidewalk on the other side, so. We're doing 12 laps of that. All right, it started. Just met some friends, Vicky and Wilton. It's their second bridge and they're on their seventh loop. So I'm not gonna stick with them. Well, I'll see them coming around. Boy. All right, just finished the uh, fourth bridge, Promanche Bridge. That was uh, 12 laps for uh, shy of 12 kilometers, pretty much. Wind's blowing pretty good. Uh, like on the way back through the bridge, uh, it's very windy and, and cold. So I just walked right through the Forks uh, Market there because uh, the next bridge is right here. It's called Norwood Bridge. And uh, you gotta go around that bridge uh, 10 times for 9K. They're all a little bit off, but uh, yeah, it'll be around 9K. 10, uh, 10 loops of that one. And then the last one to do is only five and change, uh, Osborne. Feet are, uh, I can feel my heels. My heels, uh, my, my uh, plantar is uh, acting up a little bit. The heels are having a hard time, but you know, it's not, not too, too bad. Yeah, it's, it's all concrete. Those shoes are pretty new. Well, they're new from this week. So putting them to the pace. And the group that uh, I started with this morning, they're already here. I saw a couple of the runners. Not sure where everybody is. I think uh, they must have split up. So this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge because there's a lot of intersections, pedestrian crossings. So that might be a, a long, long haul, but yeah, it's having fun. That's all that matters. That was the uh, skating trail and the running trail I was running on this winter on the Red River. The water is very high. I don't know if it's at its highest, but yeah. It's melting. Doesn't feel like it this morning because it's cold, but it is melting. So there's my group from this morning. They're all out there. I don't know how many laps they've done already, but they're there. Oh, I gotta make it to the crossing. I gotta get the timing. Hey, man. Uh, no, I didn't make it. <laughs> All right, just finished. Bridge number five is done. All right, one bridge left. So I'm walking back to the forks. That's where I parked the van. My meter is uh, expiring in like 15 minutes, so I timed it pretty good. Now I'm gonna go and find a place to park at Osborne Village and uh, run the Osborne Bridge, and that's the shortest distance of all six bridges. I believe it's five, five, five kilometers, five and change. We'll see. Once I get there, I'll have a look at the map and I'll let you guys know. The yeah, group has finished before me here uh, and then they kind of, they're running back through the forks. I don't know if they stop for food at the forks and, and then they have uh, Provencher Bridge to do and then run all the way to uh, 
Chief Peguist, and that'll be a long commute between the two bridges, and then run Chief Peguist. So they have a roughly a 12 kilometer uh, bridge loop, and the other one is seven kilometers Chief Peguist plus the commute. Uh, yeah, so they got uh, a few more hours on their feet, but man, they're beasts. I, uh, I'm really impressed at uh, what they're doing today. Yeah, feet are, uh, feet are starting to feel it. This concrete, nice and uh, uneven uh, surface, but it's all good. Alrighty, I'm at the forks. So I'm gonna go through there and uh, we'll talk to you uh, on the other side at the next bridge. On my way to uh, Osborne Bridge. It's not too far here. And uh, I'm gonna park on a street, side street. Granite, I think. And then, uh, oh, there's our, our ledge building. Lots of renovations to the front yard, I guess. Yeah, so I'm gonna park here somewhere behind Canada Life Building, and then the uh, the bridge itself is uh, the loop is uh, 0.64 kilometer per loop. I gotta do eight loops. That gives me just a little over 5k. Um, so then after that, I'm gonna drive out to City Park Runners pick up my race kit and uh, the race medals. It'll be six bridges. It's warming up a little bit, but uh, with the wind, it's still pretty uh, pretty good. This should be, uh, should be a good bridge to do here. All right, eight laps of the Osborne Bridge. Feet are sore. Having a hard time, but I guess they will warm up in due time. Look at that. That river is so high. Oh, I can feel the end. That's it. Eight laps. Of Osborne Bridge done. A little over 5k, 5.12. And uh, that's it, all six bridges done. Should be uh, the tally, I'll have a look when I get home, but should be about 50k for the day. <sighs> Let's see. Stop the watch. To make sure Garmin gets it. All right. Uh, it's good morning running. Good workout on the legs. Yeah, I'm gonna drive out to City Park Runners and uh, get my swag and uh, my medals six more medals to hang on the pole in my office <laughs> i don't know if i have room and have to squeeze a bunch of medals together <sighs> all right still fairly chilly but uh i guess here i'm a little bit more shielded uh from the wind so that's good morning. Alrighty. There's Big Red. I'm back in the van. Alright. I'm at City Park Runners. And uh, here to pick up the race kits. Let's just see what I got here. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> <sighs> All right. 
How's it going? Okay. Hey, How's it going? I'm uh, I'm picking up two, my wife and then mine, okay. and then my medals. Okay. Medals not here yet. Yeah. Anyway, the medals aren't here yet. Okay, we'll chat soon. Soon. Yeah. Hi, Candice. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. When good are you job. getting the medals? Next week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was Sorry, hoping because I ran all six bridges this morning. No, you didn't. I just finished. You did? It's all on my phone. Where's everyone? I thought you by yourself. Uh, we we started together. Yeah. And, uh, and then I ran a bunch. And uh, you're welcome. Good seeing you. Have a good day. So I ran uh, Moria with them. I ran Norwood with them. And uh, so I kind of saw them in between. Ah, okay. But they were, sure, man. some of the guys were commuting, doing the commute yeah. in between. I was driving from one oh, bridge you to the other. So. Oh, okay, so you drove from yeah, bridge to bridge. Yeah, so mine gotcha. was just like 51K total. Yeah, 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 I gotcha. I was going to say, because yeah. for 100K, Juno said they'll be like way later on. I was like, yeah. Yeah, because they actually stopped and ate at the forks okay, a bit gotcha. uh, okay, when okay, I was okay. done. So. Good for you, buddy. Oh, man, I was hoping to get the race kit and the medals at the oh, same time. Sorry, man. <laughs> sorry for the disappointment. Here's uh, the free hat. Oh, I was going to do that. Oh, and cool. the beer pint. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Look at all the goodies. As soon as the medals come, I'll, I'll let you know, I promise. All right. Yeah. Cool. So, do you get both? I'm getting this one. And I got Nat's kit. I'm gonna bring it to her. We're gonna awesome. run her first bridge tomorrow, and and then mine. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, Chief Douglas, one side is not plowed on the sidewalk, so you have to go underneath and stay, stay on the other side. Okay. Yep. All right. So I'm signing off from uh, City Park Runner. I picked up uh, my race kit and uh, Nat's race kit. Medals aren't here until next week, so I guess I'll come back next week to pick up my, my medals. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next run. Cheers.